Hey everybody, it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to episode 17 of Jewelry Detectives. And today we have Miss Andy. Andy, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you? Hey everybody, it is Tanya Thrifty uh -oh. Treasures. Welcome to episode 17 of Jewelry Detectives. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, hi, I'm Angie. Treasured Vintage and uh, yeah, this is episode 17. Um, let me just tell you ahead of time, I had a migraine this morning. I took some medicine, so I'm a little off today. If you notice, I'm a little out there. It's because that's why. <laughs> but um, I'm glad to be here, so let's get started. All right, so today we actually do not have a guest, so Angie thought it would be fun if we did a little bit of a jewelry unboxing. So she has some things that she's going to be showing and I actually have um, a lot of jewelry that a really nice lady named Brenda sent me that I'm going to be showing you guys and I'm super excited. A lot of the stuff um, I'm definitely going to be keeping because it's just beautiful. So I can't wait to show you all. <laughs> um, I guess you want to go first Angie? Sure, I can. Um, so I, I thought I would, I, I did this on my channel before, but it's been a long, long time. So, um, I might've added some things. I have a, a, it's kind of a medium sized Sarah Coventry collection and I try to keep it up to date as far as the names of the pieces and the dates of the pieces. So I thought I just, you know, we can go back and forth and I'll show some of my pieces and the names and the dates of them. That's awesome that you do that. It's kind of fun to find out the name and then put the little piece of paper with it and the date. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one is called Catherine and it's from 1973. It's a cute pin. It's real oh, pretty. It's, purple. it's um, you know, it's pretty prevalent. That's the reason why it's uh it's hanging around in in my box of Sarah Coventry stuff. So really pretty and blingy. Um, I've not seen too many Sarah Cove pieces that are blingy like that. Like most of the Sarah Cove that I run into is um, like gold or silver or that like um, almost like a, the painted color. Like doesn't she make some white stuff? Some enamel things. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's see here. Okay, so Brenda sent a whole bunch of rings, and the bad thing about it is, like, they're all my size. <laughs> so they all run to be about a size eight or a nine, and this one is real pretty. It's like a um, like an emerald ring, and it's got some real pretty rhinestones around it. So, um, and some of these are marked silver, so I think they're gold. Um, like overlay. This one isn't marked though, I don't think. Well, it is marked something, but I can't read it. I think it says 925 on it. But isn't it gorgeous? I love it. It matches my outfit today. <laughs> oh, that's really pretty. That's green. Is that a green stone? A green I bet Barb green. likes that because she loves green. Yeah, I love green too. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, I like green too. You, you look very pretty today, Tanya. Oh, thank you you, you want to do some shout outs in the chat here yeah um, yeah a good many people popped in here just just in the past minute or so we have Rosalind and we have uh, Barb and we have Martha two different Marthas and sorry BB and uh, we have um, so Lonnie, Lonnie just showed up. Hey, Lonnie. Lonnie just showed up. Delinda and Neville and Debbie Keith and Nadine and Darlene's here and Pam and Mr. Sadie and Deborah. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry if I missed anybody. I think I got everybody, but I could have missed somebody. But thanks everybody for being here. Yes, thanks for joining us. Lonnie says he sold another jewelry book this morning. Yay! <laughs> You have jewelry books. Wait. Yeah, he got that. Yeah, he got some kind of gemstone books. 
I think that's what they are, right, Lonnie? Gemstone books. Oh, dang. I didn't know that. <laughs> I would have been looking at those. <laughs> Here's a piece that is called Madam Butterflies from 1971. Oh, that is gorgeous. I think I have that one. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a, probably a pretty common one, but it's pretty. It's a real nice condition. Where are you doing your research for those pieces, Angie? There's a, a website um, that I use. I think it's I think it's called Illusion Jewels, but no. Yeah. Amazing, amazing jewelry. I'll have to look it up. I'll put it I'll I'll put it in the description or something or I'll let you know. So that one was from 1971? Yeah, it's called uh, Madam Butterfly. That's good to know for listing, like if you have that piece and you it is. That's why I've been doing that. So because if I ever decide to list these, then I'll know. You're going to become a Sarah Cove expert. Everybody's going to be coming to you for the Sarah Cove information. We actually have a really good uh, Sarah Coventry Facebook group. Oh, really? Um, yeah, you should join that. I mean, you can find out everything there, too, if you need to know anything. And it's also Emmons, an Emmons group, too, which is the, the company before Sarah Coventry. It turned into Sarah Coventry. I did not know that. I have sold uh, an Emmons piece before too. Emmons are nice, nice pieces. They're nice. They're even nicer than Sarah Coventry, I think. That is really interesting. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me find another ring. Actually, I'm excited to show you guys these earrings. These clip-on earrings. Now, I've heard of this designer, this jewelry maker, Heidi Doss. Um, let me see if you can see it. Mm -hmm. I've heard of her too. Yeah. She's, she's newer, right? Um, I don't really know if she's newer. I know that, I know that her items can sell for a lot of money though. Mm -hmm. So these really pretty blingy clip earrings. Wow. They're beautiful. Aren't they pretty? Yes. So I'm going to, uh, definitely get these, uh, listed this week. I think they're gorgeous. They are. Now, we put them on Posh and eBay. I need to do a little bit more research. Uh, definitely Posh and eBay and maybe even Etsy if they're old enough. Right. Um, I do triple list if they're, um, you know, if it's applicable, applicable for Etsy for sure. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Oh, my turn. <laughs> I'm here typing hello. <laughs> I'll just say hello. Hi, Belinda. I just saw her coming in. <laughs> getting stuff out of the box here is a little apple from the 70s i just have the 70s on it so i don't know the exact date but it's it's cute it's called delicious is the um apple core is that like a rhinestone or is that gold tone too i can't tell it's gold tone where's my black thing i'll have to get my little back backboard then but it's it's kind of like lucite Oh yeah, okay. That's what I was thinking. And it's kind of shaded, um, gold and pink, like iridescent. And then this is gold tone. This is all textured gold tone up here at the top. Mm, that's gorgeous. I love that. Yes, yeah, very pretty. Okay. Um, got a couple more rings. Like I said, she sent a ton of rings. Um, this real pretty gold one. This one is like um, a solitaire. It reminds me of like something from the 80s. What do you think? Just the way the setting is. Let me put it on here so you can see it better. Oh, wait, where'd you go, Angie? <laughs> I'm all alone. But yeah, really, really pretty ring. And then here's another one. It's a solitaire. And you guys, like I said, the bad thing about this is they all fit me. Oh, they're pretty. I'm sorry, Tanya. I just went to get my board. Okay. I was saying this one kind of reminds me like of an 80s like wedding band. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, they must be like gold over sterling. Wow, that square one's very pretty. It's got filigree back the sides. Yeah, and like I was just telling everybody, they're all my size. Like they all fit me. Wow. 
I know. So I'm super excited to rock all of them. Um, yeah. I'd wear them a while and then maybe sell one once in a while. That's what I do. Yeah, but this one, I thought that the setting was just so unique. Um, yeah, I need to clean them. But yeah, I mean, it's like just setting in there. And then there's like, it's almost like it's just hanging in there. But it's, oh, yeah, it's like suspended there in the. Yeah, that's the great, a great word for it. So, yeah. Um, and like I said, some of them are marked, but I having a hard time making out um, what they say for some reason. My my eyesight, I'm telling you. Uh, like this one right here, this one is marked uh, Sterling. Mm -hmm. Wow, is that ever a bling? Yeah. That's huge. It is huge, huh? <laughs> so do you think they are like um, possibly QVC or... Um, they look that kind of a ring, like a QVC or an H, uh, SN type of a, you know, home shopping network or. Yeah. They're, I think so. They're really pretty. I mean, the setting is just. That, just one's gold. that one's gold and then the rest of it's silver, right? The gold part is the band. Yes. Me I mean, see. the color of it, not the. Yes, yes, it's gold. Yeah, that's really nice the way it's done. Yeah, they're gorgeous. I'm just in love with all of these rings. <laughs> uh, you want to go, Andy? Yeah. As soon as I find what I'm what I'm gonna do. Frosted leaves, 1960 to 1965. I don't mean to point at you, but <laughs> <laughs> now what are they? Are they um, earrings or pens? Yeah, they're they're clip-on earrings. That Sarah Puff group that you were talking about, do they sell in there also, or is it just like an informative learning type group? I think they sell there too. Yeah. Well, that's good. You can sell your stuff too if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are really pretty. I like those. Frosted leaves from the 60s. Do you think about how old they are, you know, and how they, you know, really held up. I mean, there is That's no. I was just thinking, yeah. Way. They're, they're just really nice. Yeah, good quality pieces like that um, are definitely collectible, I think. And, you know, I feel like the Monet and uh, the Napier and stuff like that are like that too. Mm hmm. Dwayne's here. Hey, Dwayne. Hey, Chris. Wayne's here. I'm missing people. Yeah, I always forget. Like, we're running the show. We can just talk and say it. We don't have to type it. <laughs> yeah, right. And and Perla and Bianca. Hi. And Chris is here. Hi. Oh, wow. Bianca says, because of you, I started to look more into jewelry. Bought a few pieces last week in a bundle with other things. Found one. Found out one brooch is 585 white gold with diamonds. Oh my! Worth alone over three hundred. What is that? Is that like euro dollar? Is that pounds? Pounds. Maybe. Wow. Or is that euro? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's great, Bianca. That's wonderful. Um. So here's some more rings. I'm just gonna do a few of them at a time. There. Uh. So this one is this one's actually silver, and it's uh. Got a real pretty purple. Oh yeah. With a band of rhinestones. Almost looks like a teardrop. Mm-hmm. And then this one's really unique. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. I love the dome setting on that. Yeah, that room kind of reminds me of that one that Rhonda had, right? Yeah. Or just yeah. really um gold, I think. Pretty high, yeah. And then here's the other one. This one also looks like another wedding band. Oh yeah, that's pretty too. So, also suspended, it looks like to be sitting in there like that. There's Brenda, hi Brenda. These rings are awesome. Yes, I love all the rings. They are gorgeous. Said the purple was her favorite. Oh, the purple one? I know the purple one is pretty. I love the purple. 
gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me show you it to you real quick. There it is. Yeah, that is neat. And it's got, it's a bypass uh, setting. What does that mean? That means when they go, like, you know, one goes, one part goes this way and one part goes that way. Oh, that's interesting. That's, the by, that's called bypass. Oh, learned something new today. Thanks, Angie. <laughs> sure. So this is, this one is, uh, are you done with those? That, yes. those three or whatever? This uh -huh. one's 1868 and it's called Blue Note. It's really cute. It's a brooch. It almost looks turquoise, huh? Yeah, it does. It looks like faux turquoise and silver. That is really it's, pretty. All this stuff is in such good shape. I mean, there's hardly any, like I said, any wear on it. Uh, Steven Steffer here. Hey, she says, hey. Just, popping in, just popping in to show some love for our two favorite lovely ladies headed into breakfast with the grandson. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thank you. Love you guys. Angie knows some stuff, doesn't she? Uh, um, she does, Lonnie. Um, <laughs> um, <Paco. laughs> uh -huh. um, okay. Good. More rings for y'all. Okay. Here are some more rings. Ooh. Um, love, wait. Love quilt textured one's beautiful. This one right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it too. I like the wide band on it. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. And then... This one here, this one almost kind of reminds me of a mood ring, maybe. Yeah. But the stone looks gray. It, it almost is. looks like it's changing, doesn't it? Yeah, it's kind of like a gray moon glow stone. I think it is a, some kind of a moon ring. It's really pretty. Mm hmm And then the other one. This one reminds me like of a little cocktail ring. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Hi, Shelly. Or leaves, yeah. Like a leaves. Really pretty. Shelly has a question. She says, where do you find all your jewelry? Is it estate sales? We find it everywhere, don't we, Tony? Yeah, right, everywhere. <laughs> this happens to be friend mail. That, yeah, that sometimes does. friends even send you jewelry. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of times I find... Uh, my jewelry at thrift thrift shops and uh you know everywhere garage sales thrift stores online auctions um ebay everywhere anywhere you can find a deal right right estate sales definitely mm -hmm. facebook groups you just never know <laughs> here's one of the um lonnie says where do you find your jewelry Crickets laughing out loud like we don't want to share our sources. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, we're not being, you notice we're not being too, uh, uh, what's the word I want? Not giving too many details, just being pretty broad. <laughs> yeah, we're not being too specific about it. We're right. not going to say, well, here's the, <laughs> but, you know, we could. We could. There's plenty out there. Right. Uh, Here's a, a real pretty leaf. You know, you get so many leaves, but this is a really pretty one. And leaves are supposed to be in for fall, right? Yes, that's right. And uh, this is a brooch. Is that like a little white uh, cabochon on there? Or? It's a pearl. It's a faux pearl. Is my lighting not very good, or is it too bright? No, your lighting's perfect. It looks good. Uh, this one's called, this one's from 1968, and it's called Whispering Leaf. 1968, wow. And it's kind of a uh, brushed, brushed finish or a Florentine finish. Really pretty. Lots of intricate detail on the leaf. Mm -hmm. David's here. David, how are you? Hi, David. I didn't realize till later on when I was reading the chat in another um, show that you um, weren't feeling good. I hope you're better. Oh, no. Yeah. 
Shingles are terrible. Definitely. Okay. So look at this really pretty bracelet here. It's like got some little um, ruby looking stones in it and gold tone. And yeah, it's really pretty. Let me get it on. But yeah, and it's got this little, uh, it even has a little safety clasp right there on it too. That's really nice. Yeah. And it's nice because it looks like it's a bigger size. And I bet you, you know, the bigger uh, bracelets are hard to find. I bet you they sell better. You know, the longer ones. Definitely. I was thinking it was a little big too, but I think um, my wrist might just be small. Hi, Karen's at the beach. Karen said she was surprised that her um, leaf pin sold because there's so many of them on eBay. And so she apparently sold one lately. Oh, so that's wow. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. I don't um, even know that I have any listed. I need to get some listed. That's for sure. This one is called Summer Skies and it's from 1978. Is it my turn? I don't know. It's a necklace and it has a, uh, it's real pretty, it's real fluid like, it has little turquoise cabochons on it. That looks like it matches that brooch you showed earlier. Yeah, it probably would. I mean, there's a lot of things you could wear together of hers, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, there is a real pretty bangle, almost like, I guess it's like enamel. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah. And even the inside is decorated too. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's different. Brenda sent you some beautiful things. Yeah. And then this is the clasp, how it closes. Mm -hmm. that's, I think that looks vintage to me. I don't know. Yeah, I love everything that she says. Like, I'm probably going to keep everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, really pretty. So thank you, Brenda. You're so awesome. Everybody is talking about shingles, and it seems like a lot of people have had it. And Bummer. Sounds like it's really awful. Yeah, if I've read about it before. It does sound awful. <laughs> I think I remember when Sadie had him. I think. Yeah. All back. This is not marked. I think I lost some of my little pieces of paper. I think my box fell at one time and my papers got all over the place. Oh, no. This is really pretty. Really nice brooch. Oh, yeah. And you know how sometimes you get two of one piece. I have two puffy hearts. So. Those are pretty too. And they're pendants also. But I don't know what they're called either. So. You go. Okay. Um, and then we have this really fun little stretchy bracelet. It's like a, it's got peach and pink and white and gold. For a stretchy, that is cute too. Yeah, definitely. It's your normal stretchy there. That's more of like, just like a little cuff bracelet or something. That is cute. Yeah, dress up. You can dress up an outfit really quick with a piece like this. And I love the different uh, tones of pink and peach in it. That's really mm -hmm. neat. real summery. Yeah. This is one you see a lot. It's called um, Tangerine. It's from 1973. Oh, I love the color. You've probably seen that one before, haven't you? I, I don't think I, so. I think it's a pretty common one. No, but I think it's really nice that all the beads are still there and there's no missing beads. Oh, yeah. It, 
you know, her, her stuff holds up well. That is one thing about her stuff, even though there's a lot of it out there and it's, you know, it, it it's, it's always usually pretty nice when you find it, even though it's from 1973. That's, I mean, it looks brand new. I know it does. It definitely does. Okay. Um, a couple more rings. <laughs> Another uh, like solitaire one. This one looks to be like sterling. Wow. Whoever had these really like the big, big blingies. Maybe they were all Brenda's. Maybe. Or maybe and she then, found them somewhere. Look at this little bitty heart detail right here. Do you see it? Isn't that cute? Oh, yes. I have some like that too, I think, with the heart there. See yes. you, Neville. Thank you for coming, Neville. Bye, Neville. And then this one here kind of looks like to me like a tiara. Oh yes, it does, doesn't it? I bet Anita would like that one. So, and then that's what it looks like on. Hi, Brenda. Uh, uh, Brenda says, Angie, who is the designer of the pieces you're showing? These are all Sarah Coventry, Brenda. All of them. I'm just showing my collection in between. Um, Tanya's showing her um, unboxing of of her friend mail. So I'm just showing. My collection of Sarah Coventry stuff, which I could sell. Anybody wants anything here, let me know and I'll I'll get it to you. I think it's your turn, Andy. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I am here doing something, aren't I? <laughs> Hello. That's like that joke, that lady. Oh, I'll tell you then. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, this is very cute. Um, it's a little charm. It's like faux lapis, and I've seen it on necklaces. I've seen it on bracelets. I actually sold it on a bracelet once. Um, it has a little spring ring clasp at the top that you can attach to like a charm bracelet or something, or you can use it as a pendant. Oh. That's, that's pretty nice that it has the big spring ring clasp because it makes it pretty, you know, um, versatile that way. It's really nice on the back. You could probably wear it as a necklace pendant too, huh? Right. Mm -hmm. Either one. Charm, necklace. I don't know what that one's called either. I used to know what that one was called, but I don't. Um, I've got a necklace, a uh, little pendant too. This one, it's, um, it's gold and silver. Ooh, that's a coin. That's pretty. Yeah, and let me see what it says. It says Ital Italiana. Or, or, well, it says R E P V B L I C K, Republica. Mm -hmm. Must be an Italy coin, Italian coin, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And it's also marked silver, the clasp or the, um, this part, what do we call this part? Something barrel, maybe? That's the, the bale. The bale. Yeah. Brenda says, a colleague of mine was moving his mother and brought me the bag. I wish he would have brought me the purses and shoes. Ooh. <laughs> right? Yeah, I bet they would have been cool. So, yeah, really neat piece for sure. Yeah. Why does it look like it's like gold around the edge and silver in the middle, or is it worn? Is that where? No, it's it is gold, and then. No, um, I mean, I mean the coin itself. I I, I do know I just do. Yeah. See, so there's some wear on the coin itself. I think so. Yeah. It's pretty though. It's cool. Now it almost looks like it's made that way. Yeah, it does. It looks like it's supposed to be that way. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I see it up close, that's that's exactly the way it's made. It's beautiful. I love it. Really pretty. Yeah. Let me know when you list that. <laughs> if you do. I just said you love everything though, so I know. I love everything. I can't help it. <laughs> this is really pretty. This is this is an iridescent uh, bracelet, and it, the the uh, glass beads have all different colors in them. Iridescent colors. That is beautiful. It 
pink and, and uh, blue and purple and like rainbow colors in them. And each of the, the cabochons, they're glass. I think they're glass. Yeah, they're glass. Has a safety chain and it is called Harmony and it's from 1975. Oh, that's in really nice shape. I should have been wearing that. It's cute. It is. And it looks like it could go with a lot of different colors too. Mm -hmm. Yep. It That's almost nice. reminds me of that, that stuff you call ravioli. Right? <laughs> ravioli. R -A yeah, <laughs> ravioli. <laughs> well, at least I remember it that way. <laughs> You're cute. You are so cute. Look at it as a button. <laughs> um, okay. So I have this vintage necklace. It's a longer hey. necklace. Hetty's here. Hi, Hetty. Hi, Hetty. Um, and it has some pearls and some rhinestones, and it's gold tone. And I'm looking. Here's the class. It's actually a lobster class. Maybe it isn't that vintage. Um, it, it really is pretty. You could eat, probably even double strand it if you wanted. Oh yeah, you could. Yeah, that is really nice. So. Love that. And this is a piece that we really uh, also dress up an outfit really quick with the pearls and the rhinestones on it. I feel like I love the longer necklaces. They're so pretty. Tamara asks, Angie, how did you find out so much on your Sarah Coventry pieces? Do you have a book? Uh, no, I don't have a book, but I, I'm pretty sure the name of that website is amazingjewels.com. And, and there, they just have, they have like little pieces places where you can click on necklaces, bracelets, rings, and then it has pages with the names of these pieces and the dates. What's so the one? Where I do. I'm pretty sure it's called Amazing Jewels or Amazing Jewelry. Um, I'll let you know what it's called and you can put it in the description then. Okay, that sounds good. And also there's also a Sarah Coventry um, Facebook page that you can go to. That they have a lot of uh, information for. Hey, Joni. Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. Hey, Joni. Hey, Hi. Diane. Uh, okay, so I thought these were interesting. These are like little buttons, and they almost look like medical. Oopsie, like medical buttons. Yes, they. There's a name for that symbol, I think, but I don't, can't remember it right offhand. And then there what the back looks like. I don't really know anything about buttons, you guys. Uh, but they are marked water, Waterbury, Waterbury, button, Connecticut, something or another. Mm. Anyway, I haven't looked them up, but I thought they were really interesting. They are, they look old. Mm-hmm. Hmm. This set is called Charisma. Ooh, fancy. Now this is a a pretty common one too. I actually have two pairs of the earrings, but I just have one of the necklace. But yeah, it's fancy, pretty fancy. It's from 1973. Oh yeah, I could see somebody wearing that like with a disco outfit for sure. <laughs> yeah. That's really pretty. Yeah, that that's definitely a statement necklace, even back in the 70s, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I've got another necklace. This one's new with tags, and it's uh, Faith, Faith Studio. And it is definitely a choker necklace. And... It's, uh, golly, it's like, what, four strands? Four strands, really pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. A real elegant, simple piece. So. Gosh, can you hear that plane? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it doesn't crash into your house. All right. <laughs> Here is a 
Victorian Cross, 1973. It's a big one. Big golden cross. And it's, it's on a pretty long chain. Not real long, but pretty long. That's really pretty. Is the center? Is it? Does it have some black stones? No, actually, it's it's um, clear. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just open. Open work. Textured, open work. It's in really nice shape too. I don't think I've ever seen a cross uh, piece by Sarah Cove. Oh, I've got bunches of them. I think I have three or four, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't have everything here in my box. Some of the stuff is in different places that I haven't. Some even some stuff I even have listed. Yeah. Here's a little deer. 1963. It's called Little Doe. 1963. My goodness sakes. Right. <laughs> Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Yeah. You've got a lot of her pieces. Yeah, this is only, I'm only halfway through the first box. I have another box full, too. Okay, this piece right here, super long, definitely may be worn at least as a double strand, and it's by J-Lo. <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah. That look almost looks like it goes with that stretchy bracelet. Oh yeah. That would go nice with that. Okay. Only the one is the one gold and one silver though. I don't know. Yeah, it is, but I would still Yeah, I mean it's farther it's far away from enough away yeah, from I, each other that when I was younger I was super duper matchy matchy, but now that I'm older, like I don't care about stuff like that. I'll wear gold and silver together. I don't care. Super wacky wacky. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really pretty bird necklace. I don't know the name of it, but it's really nice. Oh yeah. It's got a little blue rhinestone eye, and I love the way it's like positioned because it's like it's its wings are up in the air and its head is is like facing down. Yeah, it is kind of all twisted up, but it's cute the way it's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. I love all the animals too. All the I think animals. everybody can see okay. Yeah, I mean, your lighting's good. Um, I've got another pearl necklace. Tracy's here. Hi, Tracy. Hey, Tracy. And this one I think is definitely vintage because look at the class. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's vintage. Mm -hmm. I love pearls. Your turn, Angie. This is really cute. It's like plastic, but it's a really long, um, really long plastic bead necklace, and it's turquoise, and it has the Sarah hang tag, and it's in really nice shape. Oh yeah, I love the color on that. Yeah, and it's real long. And let me see, show you something else. There's my magnet. Yay! <laughs> I, I love my magnet all the time. <laughs> but thankfully I did have I did have another one, but <laughs> yes. I can't find my good one right now. I don't know what I've done with it. But I'm I knew I'd like, find it. I knew it'd be stuck. It's stuck on some jewelry somewhere is where it's at, Tanya. Right, I know. <laughs> That's where it is. This is just a, a little bead necklace, and it's 1976. It's called New Design. And it's just, just real simple. 
a real yeah. simple bead, bead. Real modern, sleek looking. Mm -hmm. Then here's another little silver necklace. It's got three stars on it. And it's really cute. And it's from, it's called Star Show Shower. Star Shower, and it's from 1978. Wow. Yeah, I feel like the um, celestial type stuff is always in style. Like that stuff to me really never goes out of style. That right. and like nautical stuff like that, people are always looking for it. I agree. Okay, this is a good example of a modern piece made to look vintage. So if you're just looking at this piece, I don't know about you, but I would definitely think that this was a vintage necklace just by the way it's designed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But actually, it's a piece made by J Lo. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's sneaky J Lo. J Lo, J Lo be sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny from the block be doing her thing. Right? She's a quadruple threat, right? She's a <laughs> jewelry designer too. <laughs> yeah. Here's one of my favorites. And I wish I had the whole set because I do love this. This is from 1960s, the 60s. And it's called Tropicana. And it's got that gorgeous uh, rainbow AB in it. Or water, oh, I love it. watermelon uh, Rivoli stone. I don't know. But that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. It's not a Rivoli. It's a it's a watermelon AB stone. What's the difference? Like how can you tell? The Rivoli is or Rivoli is the one that has all the oh, I wish I had one to show you. <sighs> it has all the it, it's a different faceted uh, a stone. It's a different. It's the way it's faceted that, that's different. Oh, it doesn't have anything to do with the coloring. No. Mm -mm. Okay, that's what I was wondering. But I love that, and they have you know they have a whole set of this, and I'd I'd love to have the whole set. But this is probably one of the more you know medium 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 rare ones. Like it's a steak or something. <laughs> Stop it! You're making me hungry. <laughs> 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 Uh, Carla says it's round, isn't it? Yeah, I guess all the Rivolis are round. All the ones I've ever seen are. They're round. This is kind of cool. I like this set. Or these, these earrings because they're like interchangeable. I showed these before though. I did show them before. I'll just show them real quick. You can change out the, uh, that plastic piece in the in oh, the metal. That's unique. Yeah, you can change that out, and they have clear, and they have the amber color or the tortoise, the faux tortoise, and they have the black. But I remember just showing that not too long ago. I think it was on Jewelry Detectives. Yeah. So that's um, a rerun. Chris says, "Do either of you know anything about little frog jewelry? I keep finding little silver fronts with jewels for eyes." Little silver fronts with jewels for eyes. Are you saying little silver frogs with jewels for eyes? Maybe that's what she means. Yeah. Um, I don't, I have some of the same type of jewelry. I don't really know. <laughs> you know I've sold some of the same type of jewelry. Yes. Um, Tracy. I don't know much about it. What did Tracy say? I'm sorry. She's had a slush from Sonic for two days in a row and she's blaming me. <laughs> oh, is it the pickle one? Because that's the one Tanya likes. She likes the pickle juice one. No, I've never tried the pickle juice one. Carla was telling me about it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. But I mean, I love sour stuff, but I don't oh, know. That's a waste of a slushy. Oh. Yeah, I like a sweet slush. So right now my favorites are like cranberry and mango. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, now I want to try. I think Tracy tried the tiger's blood. She said that was good. And Ew. someone said Bahama Mama or something. So, That'd be good. Yeah. 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 You got another piece? Yeah. This this one, I, I used to know what the name of it was, but I don't anymore. It's got the earrings and the pin to match. It's pretty cute. Probably from the 60s, I would say. 
Okay, here's a pretty pearl charm bracelet. Um, and it's got some little bitty gold tone falls on it with rhinestones too. And this one does it is marked, but all it says is uh, made in China. Mm. Here, really pretty, slips right on. Fancy, fancy. Mm -hmm. This is called Silver Cascade. And it is from 1960. It's multi-chain with the, with the tassel. Yeah, that's pretty. I don't know. I think I have the earrings. Yeah, I have the earrings, too. I think these are the earrings. They look like they match. Yeah. They're little clip earrings. Um, here is a little owl pendant. And it's enamel with some rhinestones. Oh, that's cute. And it's actually marked. Um, I've never heard of this before, and I haven't looked it up. Am Amrita, A-M-R-I-T-A. Have you ever heard of that? I think I have. Yeah. I think I might have sold something like that before. Not like that, but uh, of that name before. Let's see if you can see it. It's kind of hard to make out. Mm hmm But, yeah. I thought that was really pretty. It's not missing any stones or anything either. Any yeah. This has got to be a later piece of Sarah Coventry. It just looks later to me. Um, I don't know when they stopped making stuff, actually. But this one is like got these two beads. These are like two beads, and it's uh, got purple, slightly transparent. Um, plastic beads. I don't know the name of this one. It's cute though. Yeah, it almost looks like those are like real long beads put together, right? Yeah, I just call them tube beads, but tube beads, yeah. or pipe beads, or something. Like that. That's really a unique piece too. I think. Yeah, I like it. I was going to sell it in a lot with purple things, and then it ended up back in back in my collection box because <laughs> I just like it. Oh, I have to head to work. Oh, Brenda, we'll miss you. Bye. Bye, Brenda. Thank you so much again. You're so sweet. I really appreciate it. Um, so all I have left now are really watches. She sent a whole bunch of um, neat watches. But this one is, and I always chop this word up. Uh, all right, you ready to correct me? Bolova? <laughs> Bolova. Bulba. <laughs> so this is That's pretty. Bulba is a good name to watch. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, it is. Um, I love the bye, vintage watches. Bye, David, or bye, Bianca, whichever one of you's leaving. Bye, See, David. I'm not sure if it's David or, or Bianca. Okay. Bye bye. Is that a wind watch or is that a, a quartz watch? I thought it was, but it's not. It says quartz. Okay. Well, get, get better, David. I hope you feel better soon. This one, I don't know the name of it, but I'm thinking it's probably from the 60s. This one does have some uh, wear on it up at the clasp. It must be really old. It's really lightweight plastic and lightweight chain. Got a little bit of finish wear up at the spring ring clasps, so it must be a really older one. What's the year on that one? Do you know? No, I don't. I don't know. I don't have the information on that, but it does have the the little hang tags, so I do know it's it's her piece. Um, I feel like white was really popular, like back in the '60s, maybe the '70s, like yeah. you know, designing jewelry with the white pieces and stuff. Yeah, kind of mod. Yeah, mod definitely. This is the bittersweet piece that I I like. It's called bittersweet. It's 1962. There's a good many of those out there, but I I always like the the style or the design of this with the like little oh, yeah definitely kind of teardrop berries 
Oh, David, he sent a super chat. Thank you so much. He says, before I go, it's been a while. Thanks, Tanya and Angie, for a great video. Oh, thanks, David. Hope you feel better. Yes. And these are the earrings to go with it. Oh, wow. Matching earrings. Nice. So you're just totally just collecting these pieces? You're not, like, are they for sale anywhere? I know you said you wouldn't sell them, but are they yeah, I'll, I'll sell them, but no, I, these are not listed anywhere. I just have been putting them in this box. I don't know why. <laughs> a lot of times I'll look, and there's a lot of this stuff out there, and a lot of it listed, and if there's a lot of something listed, I usually don't. Oh. It then, you know, but then some of it is not listed, so I but don't know. I think it's fun, like, you know, as a hobby to learn more about a specific designer. Yeah, I kind of enjoyed having this uh, collection, so. Yeah. I'll have to get some kind of collection going so I can have it as backup to share with you guys. Awesome. Yeah. Have some big um, pins that are really pretty. This one's called Silhouettes. It's from 1965. It's from the Silhouettes collection. It's like cut out flowers in silver tone. It's a really nice design. Oh, yeah. Carla's asking where your collection is from. Where it's from? This box. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think I... I probably bought them at yard sales, and um, I think most I think most of this stuff's from yard sales or from lots that I, you know, just kind of added to my collection from lots that I had. These are the earrings. Matty earrings, very nice. Yeah, the earrings look nice too. So like, does it ever happen that you find the brooch and then like later on you find the earrings, or do you just just like typically find all the pieces together? I think it's more common that I find them separately. Yeah. Really? Yeah. These are some leaf earrings that I don't know what the name of these are. Or maybe I do. Wait. Uh, wind flower. 1960s. Wind flower. I hope that's the name of them. They don't look like flowers to me, but. Yeah, they look like they could be flowing in the wind. Unless my little piece of paper got in the wrong spot. Could be. This one I always liked. It's called uh, Woodland Flight 1958. Might be my oldest piece in yeah. the 1950s. This is the, the, the one with the deer on it. Oh, yeah. Pin, and then I have the um, earrings to match. Yeah, that might, I have to look, that might be my oldest piece there. Do you know what year they changed over from the um, Emmons to Sarah Cove? I used to know, uh, but I don't know it right offhand. There's, there's research on that. You can find it real easy. Yeah. That'd be a good video for you to make, Angie, like about Sarah Cove. Yeah, I've already made one, but I guess I could refresh it, do it again. These are cute. They're actually the white, uh, white enamel. I think they're called Polynesia or something. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can get something really pretty here. This one's pretty, really a pretty one, but it's pretty common. It's from 1968. It's called Remembrance. A lot of people have this one. Oh, yeah, that's really pretty. I used to know the name of that one, but I don't. This one's, get the name of this one. this one's called Orbit. That one's it, cool. It's from 1971. Oh, this is one of my favorites here. This is Sultana. It's from the 60s. Oh, groovy, baby. 
you know, they have all those different stones and rhinestones and uh, like oh, a I love that one. What is that matching piece you're holding up there? These are the earrings. Yeah. Oh, earrings? Are they clipped or pierced? Clip. Mm -hmm. That's really I, nice. I would, I would imagine that one's pretty collectible. Yeah, it's probably uh, medium rare. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's uh, it's I don't know how collectible it is. I've I've seen kind of quite a bit of those out there too, but I just think it's I just think it's one of the neater ones. The neater, so it kind of looks when you look at it like a like a real designer piece, like like it's got someone else's name besides Coventry on it. But right, Coventry. It's called Sultana. Sultana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another real cute, just plastic yellow bees. Um, I guess they're they're a little bit different textured than the blue ones. So I don't know what the name of those are. I love those. I have a pair. I have a green one that I wear sometimes with an outfit. Just vintage plastic beads. I don't know what the name of this is, but it's pretty. It's like two, well, two, how many strands? Two strands, maybe? If I can get it straightened out. Hmm. Oh, wow. All kinds of things happening with this. <laughs> right. Well, while you're doing that, I want to remind everybody to be sure and go subscribe to Angie's channel. It's one of the first links down below in the description box. And you can also check out her um, video on Air Coventry jewelry, too, uh, if you go there and search her videos. Yeah, it's an older one. So I think I'm on the porch when I'm doing it. So it's an older one. <laughs> I love um, the porch. Yeah, me too. I am definitely going to look into being able to. Um, film out there more. I like this. This is really pretty. I don't know the name of it, but it's a really nice one. It's silver tone with pearls. Yeah, it's really pretty. I guess we're coming to the end of our show, aren't we? We are. Okay. Oh, this is an old poodle. I gotta show you this one. This is really old. I think this one might be rare. I don't know the name of it. But it's probably it's probably one from the fifties. Oh my gosh, I love that. It's very cute. It is adorable. Yeah, it's really cute. I have to look up, see if I can find the name of that and what, what date, because I really have a feeling it's from the 50s. Yeah. It's, there's probably not many of these. It's Mark Sarakov? Um, I think I saw it. It's not, it doesn't have a mark on it, but I think I saw it somewhere that it was Sarah. Oh, wait, it does. It's got SC on the back. On, in, in a um, in a triangle, it's got SC. That's really interesting. I've never seen uh, a mark like that by her. Or if I have, at least now I know it's like. So I hope it's her. Yeah. S A C S A period C period. Yeah, that sounds like something she would do with the periods because you know she does C O V period, right? Yeah. I hope it's I hope it's hers. I have to double check now. <laughs> but I, I think I looked and saw this somewhere and that was hers and then I put it in the box. So that was the only reason, reason I put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's our bird. There's our time. I haven't gone off yet. <laughs> our indication that it's time to go, huh? Oh look, here goes mine. Listen. Wait. Can you hear it? <laughs> I like yours. It's so subdued. Mine just like blasts out. <laughs> well, I've got another one up there, and that one always sounds like the bird is dying. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we both have bird clocks. Yeah, well, I saw Angie's, and then I had to get one. <laughs> and that's from Roland Picker. That's where that came from. He, he uh, I think Cincinnati Picker had it, or somebody had it on the MSP auction and and I think I think Michael won it and I think he said send it to me 
think that's how that went. But anyway, I ended up with it and, you know, that was great. Yeah. And speaking of Michael, let's just go ahead and plug that right now. So yeah. this Saturday night on Dwayne's channel, Mothership Products here on YouTube, uh, Thelma Thrift has put together or is putting together an auction for Michael, the rolling picker. And um, he is having some health issues right now. And um, so she's trying to raise some money for him and his family. So if anybody is interested in coming on Dwayne's channel and auction, auctioning off one item uh, to help Michael and his family, uh, we would definitely appreciate any help that anybody's willing to give us. I know that um, I've asked Angie and Lonnie to help and they've both agreed to. And um, I know a lot of um, other friends of ours are participating. So if you'd like to participate, either get in touch with Thelma, myself, or Dwayne, and we'd love to get you in for a time slot. Like I said, Michael has a heart of gold and has helped so many people. And um, we've really been missing him at the auctions. So uh, anything we can do to help. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess that is going to conclude and wrap up our show today. Um, we will be back, I guess, in a couple weeks and probably on Angie's channel, hopefully with a guest. Um, if we don't have a guest, we'll probably be doing another unboxing. I know that we both have unboxings we can be doing for sure, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I'll continue with my, with my Coventry stuff. Yeah, definitely. That has been so interesting. I learned a lot today. Good. So thank you for that. Yep. And um, I guess that's it. And we will see you guys in a couple of weeks. So thanks so much, so much for joining us in the chat. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, y'all.